This is a video camera that I bought to try and make my YouTube videos. It doesn't work. It will turn on, it will charge, but it needs an SD card and it won't recognize any SD cards. I've tried two that I had. I've tried a brand new one. It is clearly faulty. So I advised the seller and he basically said, too bad, no refund. So I told AliExpress and they said to me, I had to provide photographic proof. So I provided a photo of the card in the machine with the screen saying no card, no SD card detected. Now they're telling me, no, I'm not getting a refund because I um, have not provided enough evidence. This is their so-called solution. It says no refund. If I click on view more, I'll sit there for a minute so you can uh, see that. Now they're telling me I have to provide a video, so I am making a video right now to show what thieving pigs these Chinese are. Now, AliExpress will sometimes refund your money, but more often than not, they will run you around and around in circles till you give up. Now, for example, if we look here, I can appeal that decision, supposedly, but it's fake, because watch what happens. So this is the screen you ultimately get when you try to appeal. It's an error screen, as you can see, and this has been the case for years. It is just their way of running you around. Um, look, AliExpress is cheap for most things, but you have to factor in what you're going to lose, and I factor in a 25% loss uh, overall on things I buy because they just cannot be trusted. Uh, I'll shortly be showing you another video about a uh, um, so-called nuclear bomb replica storage canister that I bought. thought it was a bit cute, and the lid won't even go on it. Now, they did actually refund that in the end, but it took me about a month and a half, even though the item was nothing like the pictures shown. And uh, as I say, that will be my next video. See you then. So, here's a bit more detail. This is the item I bought. $23.90 with $13.5 five shipping. Hey, and at that price, I had my suspicions, but I thought it was worth a try. Now, note up here in the main description, it says 1080 pixels full HD. Now we come down to the features. It says video resolution up, up to 720p. So that already is different to what they advertise up the top. But worse, if you come down further, video resolution is 640 by 480, which is ancient and not even close to HD definition. HD stands for high definition. So there's three conflicting resolutions shown in the description. So clearly the uh, the camera is not capable of doing what they have advertised.
seller to avoid is this one. Buy from this seller at your own risk. So this is the camera from AliExpress. I have three SD cards here. This one's a brand new one. Card one. Going properly. There we go. So we open it up, turn it on. I don't know whether you can see that. I might have to put a blind down. It's almost impossible to get a picture of this. <clears throat> Try some different angles. can't really get a photo of it but clearly I will hold down the record button and clearly nothing happens that is the warning message I don't know where hang on let's try something I don't know where all the glare is coming from. Yeah, this is almost impossible to film. This is, uh, it says no card. Trying to film the screen is a nightmare. I'm not a professional videographer. I don't have equipment that I can do anything about. Do anything with that. Can I get it right up here? No, well, it says no card. So... We'll try the brand new card. Why is that not clicking in? Oh, wrong way around. There we go. And still no card. We'll turn it on and off. Just to be sure. Let's see the bloody thing. This power button is in an awful spot. And again, saying no card. It does not work. 